our planet is an oasis in the cold darkness of the universe, for which the name Ocean would be more fitting than Earth. Today's scientific understanding tells us that it is from this source that all the forms of life we know have come. This world, full of wonders and secrets, is the cornerstone of human existence. About 6,500 species of algae make the waters of the oceans the second largest producer of the oxygen we breathe. The life forms it is home to are highly diverse with hundreds of thousands of species from minute plankton to the giant whales. It is estimated that 90% of the biodiversity of our planet is to be found in the oceans and seas. Thus, it is a habitat for many strange and unique species. Among them are the giants of the oceans. The Giants of the Ocean Masses of small animals live their lives in the garden of creation. Their existence is indispensable to the ecosystem because every single species plays an important part in the rhythm of the oceans. As we move higher up the food chain, we encounter ever larger creatures. We encounter the record holders. The now rare leatherback turtle, for example, is the largest living sea turtle species with a length of two meters and weighing in at nearly 700 kilograms. In addition to the intensity of its colors and patterns, the common squid has one of the most advanced eyes. It can perceive polarized light and is able to detect things both in front of it and behind it at the same time or the diminutive Belcher's sea snake, which has the most toxic venom of all living snakes on Earth. Fortunately, it is not aggressive and has very small fangs because one drop could cause death to 70 adult men. But whatever exceptional endowments these creatures have, they are dwarfed by those of these next giants. United States of America, Crystal River. When we hear the name Florida, we may first think of palm trees, sandy beaches, or the endless lush flat marshlands of the Everglades. However, if we set a course a little farther north to the warm water lagunas of the Crystal River, we can come face to face with a rather peculiar animal. From above, it appears only as a dark shadow. However, looking below the water's surface, the veil falls from this mysterious creature. This three and a half to four meter long creature is the West Indian manatee, also known as the Florida manatee. It is the largest species of sea cow and the planet's only plant-eating sea mammal. From November to March, it wanders the warm coastal waters where the water temperature exceeds 20 degrees Celsius. In this period in Florida, hundreds of manatees fill the Crystal River area where they spend the colder months in intricate lagoons that are fed by warm water springs. In lower temperature waters, the manatees suffer cold shock, their digestive systems stop working, and they die. 
their weight can reach between 350 and 600 kilograms, but specimens have been documented weighing more than one ton. They must eat for seven to eight hours per day to ensure they consume the equivalent of 10 to 15 percent of their body weight. That is comparable to the average sized man needing to eat 12 kilograms of cabbage per day. They feed on aquatic plants that grow on the sea floor, on trees, and on other objects in the water. They spend the remainder of the day resting, since they have very slow metabolisms. The manatee's metabolic rate is unusually low and they to conserve energy whenever it is possible. So the manatee's body temperature is around 36.4 Celsius degree, but this may slightly vary with water temperature. Therefore, some of their activities, such as feeding, that creates extra heat and increases metabolic rate, may be regulated by water temperature cycles. In Florida, for instance, the manatees demonstrate a daily routine by eating early morning and resting at daytime when water temperature increases. So this kind of behavior is an adaptation for a large tropical marine mammal that must keep cool and avoid overheating in warm waters. The siesta time is a perfect lunchtime for other small aquatic animals. Schools of small fish cover the manatees' bodies and feast on the algae and parasites that settle on their skin. By the end of the break, they will have received excellent skin treatments. They can hold their breaths for 20 minutes before they have to surface for air. Then, only the tip of the nose rises above the water. A quick breath is taken, and the manatee goes back to rest. The West Indian manatee lives in the southeast of the United States of America, in the Caribbean, and on the northern coast of South America. It has no natural enemies, however, the rise in boating traffic and the growth of tourism have had a detrimental impact on their population. There are almost no individuals that are not scarred with injuries caused by watercraft. Thousands of curious people come to Crystal River every year just to be able to swim with the manatees. Opinions are divided on whether this is good or bad for the animals that live here. In any case, the area resembles a cross between a petting zoo and a water park. Park wardens and restriction signs attempt to protect the population, but their numbers continue to decrease despite all attempts to save them. Rays are in the family of cartilaginous fish and live nearly everywhere in the oceans with nearly 400 known species. Their streamlined bodies sweep imperceptibly through the endless ocean, or they just lie hidden at the bottom. Among the many species, however, is one whose size leaves its cousins behind and may well be called the giant king of the rays. Indonesia, Raja Ampat. With an area of 40,000 square kilometers, Raja Ampat is Indonesia's largest national park and is the place with the world's greatest biodiversity. This Switzerland-sized region, surrounded by ocean, comprises more than 1,500 islands. The nutrient-rich waters here with their picturesque sunsets, are a perfect habitat for the giant manta ray, which is also called the giant devil ray. These are the largest species of sea ray, and they have the largest brains of all fish. Its immense body throws a dark shadow, like that of an impending thundercloud on its environment. Like a shark, it must swim continuously in order to breathe. The spotted pattern on its belly is unique, like a human fingerprint, and allows researchers to document and later identify specific individuals. 
Many secrets and mysteries surround these animals. The main habitats of the devil rays are the temperate, subtropical, and tropical waters. This diamond-shaped giant has a wingspan of more than 6 meters and can exceed 1.5 tons in weight. An essential part of its lifestyle is regular visits to underwater animal cleaning stations. This is when the ray swims to cliffs at the sea floor, stops and surrenders itself to the cleansing team. This unit of small butterfly fish and emperor angelfish nibble dead skin from its body and free it from parasites. The devil ray is not only remarkable among the wildlife of the seas because of its considerable size. A recent and surprising discovery has shown that the devil ray has the largest brain of all fish by weight. Manta rays have the largest brain size and brain weight from all fish species studied so far. Indeed, the actual brain mass of manta rays is greater than it could be expected by the given body mass when we compare to the brain weight to body weight ratio of other cartilaginous fish species. On the other hand, manta rays have the highest percentage of telencephalic mass from all rays and skates and exceeds almost all shark species. This brain region is involved in higher order thinking and processing of information to perform functions such as associative learning, long-term memory, cognition and communication. Its of the manta ray's head are the flap-like head fins which direct the nutrient-rich water into its mouth. Its streamlined body, like an underwater airplane, glides gracefully in the liquid void in search of food. Its giant mouth filters the plankton-rich water, consuming 20 to 30 kilograms of the organisms daily. Unfortunately, fishing has also overtaken the mantas in recent decades. Their numbers have fallen drastically in some places of our planet, where, of course, greedy business interests hide in the background. They have become a valuable and sought-after prey due to their gill rakers, which filter food from the water. In the Far East, mainly in China, one of the best-selling items is dried gill rakers. A face-to-face -face encounter with this animal would be a nightmare come true for many people. Nearly 400 species are known, between which there are a great number of differences. The hammerhead shark is easily recognizable from a distance because of the distinctive shape of its head. This unique shape, however, gives it the best peripheral vision of all species of sharks. And here's a strange, recently discovered species, the walking shark. It only swims if it needs to flee. Otherwise, it spends its day walking on the tips of its fins on the sea floor. You don't see anything in this shot. That is because the wabagong, a species of carpet shark, is a master of camouflage. Most of the day, it lolls about on the sea floor and only becomes visible if something disturbs it and it begins to swim. We could continue to list ever stranger hunters, but the real giant isn't a formidable predator. It is a truly peaceful and harmless giant. Papua, Chenderwesh Bay. A small magic island in a remote part of the world. These islanders live their peaceful lives, far removed from urban stress and noise. Their lives are completely interwoven with the sea, as they live mostly in total symbiosis with it. However, there is something that lives here which makes this paradise something really special. In contrast to the ancient methods, some fishermen pursue their craft from floating platforms akin to something that looks like some futuristic end-of-the-world scenario. That wouldn't be so special 
but sometimes a huge dark silhouette appears nearby. Then the fishermen scatter small fish in the water and the mysterious creature opens its mouth to suck them up. Due to their size and markings, however, this mysterious creature is soon revealed. This 15-ton friendly giant is the whale shark. It is the largest fish species, the largest shark species, the most fertile shark species, the thickest skin of all animals. With a length of 12 to 14 meters, it justifiably holds the title for being the world's largest fish. Its gigantic body equals the weight of nine passenger cars. Like the manta, it feeds on the ocean's smallest organisms, plankton and tiny fish. It is capable of squeezing five to 6,000 liters of seawater through its grand 1.5 meter wide mouth every hour. That is enough to ensure a human five years worth of drinking water. Its filtration system is so unique that it is not only able to separate larger sized pieces of food, but can also do something similar to a cough to get rid of contaminating particles that might clog the filtration system. It does not need to swim in order to feed, since it can create a huge vacuum to draw in water and the nutrients it contains. It can be found in all warm water oceans, but it is most frequently seen in places like the Ningaloo Reef in Western Australia or the Holbox Island in Mexico. The pattern of white spots covering its body is, like the mantas, unique for every individual. The whale shark spends most of its life swimming and feeding just below the surface, resulting in injuries from boat propellers, from which even its sometimes 10 centimeter thick skin cannot protect it. However, increasing boat traffic is still not its greatest threat. That comes from humans, who ruthlessly destroy it for its valuable fins. Today, shark fin trade has grown to be a multi-million dollar business. Unfortunately, whale sharks are not exceptions. Here, however, it was possible to convince the fishermen that living whale sharks would provide them with better livelihoods than dead ones. They, therefore, lure the sharks in and the divers pay a rich fee for the thrill of swimming with them. The system has worked well so far, but fishing vessels specializing in shark fishing would like to disrupt this idyllic state. Now we have uh, some problems because um, big fishing boats, they arrive already in the Sindrawasi Bay. They come in and they make already appointments with the local fishermen to catch the whale shark and maybe they like to bring it out for industry. Not for eating, you cannot eat a whale shark, it's not, not, not tasteful, but for the industry. Pay a lot of money for the whale shark. The females reach sexual maturity rather late, at about 30 years. But research shows them to be the most fertile known shark species. Each litter can bring up to 300 offspring to the world. These wonderful giants, which can live for up to 70 years, mostly roam the world's tropical seas in solitude. Portugal, Azores. Somewhere in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean is a tiny archipelago far from any continent. The volcanic peaks reaching into the sky are home to fierce winds and wave-sculpted shores. But the real highlight is not the immersive beauty of the land, but is hidden in the waters surrounding the island. A mysterious creature, 
which has written itself into the history of the island and the world. A legendary giant, a living submarine, which is known to the world as the worthy holder of several records. It is the great sperm whale, from the family of toothed whales. It is the largest predator, the largest head, the largest tooth, the deepest diving mammal. Reaching 20 meters in length, it is the world's largest predator. The average weight for males is 45 tons, while the females can reach up to 20 tons. It has the animal kingdom's largest head at 6 meters, with a brain of nearly 9 kilograms. Its enormous head makes up one-third of its total body length and hides the world's largest teeth which can exceed 20 centimeters and weigh over one kilogram. The great sperm whale can be found in all the oceans of the world. However, its migratory habits differ from other species of whales. Baleen whales are the main, the big migrators. The sperm whales are slightly different. The females don't go much further north than the Azores. The males tend to be further north and then the big males every now and again which is one thing we don't know, how often they come down and they look for females to breed with. And so we see them here from time to time, but it's mainly the groups of females and the calves that we see consistently through the summer. When its four meter wide tail rises into the air, it begins its dive into the ocean's dark realm. For the sperm whale is the world's deepest diving, air-breathing animal. Adult specimens can swim to a depth of 3,000 meters where they hunt for their favorite food, the giant squid. At this depth, 300 kilograms of immense pressure exerts itself over every point of the whale's body. Thanks to a huge appetite, it will devour the equivalent of 3% of its body weight daily, which is more than one ton of fish and mollusks. The estimated annual consumption of the sperm whale population is 90 million tons of marine animals. With this quantity, we could fill Manhattan with sea animals to a depth of one meter. On average, they stay submersed for between 30 and 50 minutes, followed by a 10 to 15 minute rest on the surface, and then perform shallower dives. Calves do not dive with their mothers. That would be very stressful and dangerous for them. Instead, they follow on the surface until the mothers return. Sometimes it will stop, turn playfully, and all the while communicating with its mother in the deep. For the sperm whale is, like the dolphins, capable of navigating, communicating, and hunting using sonar. For these purposes, it can emit an incredibly strong, up to 230 decibel clicking sound. Each individual has its own combination of sounds, which identifies it within the group. Sperm whales live in large, cohesive hierarchical families, where the largest male is the leader. Today, they have no natural enemies. But for centuries, humans posed the greatest danger to them. They were hunted from the 1700s right up to the end of the 20th century. Their fat was used for lamp oil, and the precious ambergris in their bowels was used in the production of perfume. Finally, in 1985, they came under international protection, and as a result, the population has increased continuously ever since. The art of whalebone carving grew out of the tradition of fashioning their giant teeth and bones into useful and beautiful objects. These record holders have either impressive features or outstanding dimensions. They fascinate us because they belong in the realm of wonders. In a perfect world, greed or waste would be long-forgotten concepts. 
This flawless balance is beginning to tilt now through the actions of an extremely invasive and dominant species, man. Unfortunately, his is the most negative record, the immeasurable destruction. Polluting the oceans and condemning other species to extinction. Although he is at the pinnacle of evolution, he still doesn't understand the simplest truth. The ocean is not the holder of life. It is life itself. <laughs>